Hi, I am Iki. Today we are going to learn how to read a CSV file. I need a place to put what I read. You can use a rich text label. We also need to start creating our script. I create a new function called load CSV. I need a CSV file. I can easily create it in LibreOffice or another software. It is convenient to use the header to categorize or filter data. In my case, I am creating a catalog of objects, which can be used for the list of game objects, an inventory or a store. A very important piece of information that I always add is an ID or index. This is something very common in databases, and it will help me to locate objects. Let's save it. Keep in mind that if you are exporting for HTML5, there may be problems reading the CSV file. We fixed this by changing its file extension. I will save it to a new folder within my project, which I will name data. I will start rereading the file. Then I'm going to iterate reading each line written, or in this case, each row. I proceed to display the result on the console. It works. We are going to display the same result in a rich text label. To separate the results, we will add a line break at the end. Well, but what if I want a single piece of data? Each row works as an array. Therefore, data0 will be the index and data1 will be the name. I'm going to get just the names. I need to make sure that row contains data and is not empty. Excellent! I add a line break. I can put all this data in a list to handle it within the game. This type of result is good enough to be used even as a data of the JSON type. If I want, I can search for a particular row number. I can also filter by a specific data of that row. I will display the names of all the objects in my list. Notice that it includes the header. Let's remove it from the list. Nice! Finally, we can filter results according to a specific data. I'm going to look for the result with index equal to 5. You can also search by name or by any other data you want. If it helped you, don't forget to subscribe and we will keep tuning in on the next one.